G'day viewers. I recently uh, bought this Fluke 187 off eBay for a really bargain price. You know, um, yeah, it was a bargain. X Australian Defence Force. Now I'm thinking, well, if they got rid of this, what are they using now? They must be using some uh, pretty fancy gear now. So this is a, a Fluke 187, beautiful meter. Probably the best meter I've ever owned. So I get it home and uh, start doing some uh, tests with it and I found out it's not reading resistance or voltage probably. It sort of had an intermittent fault. So uh, I looked into it and I found out that this part here, um, you might be able to see it on the black, they've actually snapped off and one snapped off the red there. So I desoldered that uh, just with the solder sucker. I used this very fine um, solder and I used that little one eighth drill bit just to uh, clean the holes in the circuit board. And um, I ordered that off eBay. A guy's name is Joel Friend. He's in uh, the USA. So uh, it didn't take long to fit that. It took, uh, it took a month for the part to arrive and it was uh, a little pricey I think it was about $30 American plus the postage was a killer so it was it was nearly a hundred dollars to get it 80 or maybe 90 I'm not sure not don't care anyway uh, I got the new leads and as you can see it measured the uh, voltage from the inverter that I've got on uh, you're getting a really light reflection so, um, yeah, and that's why I like it. It's got the hold function as well. A lot of meters have got that, but what a beautiful meter. Very happy with it. I'll be able to do some very high precision testing now. So, yeah, still learning how to use it. It's got some functions that I haven't had uh, available to me on a single meter before. And... Uh, that's me story how I fixed it. It's working beautiful now. Very accurate meter. Well worth the uh, time and the wait to repair it. Uh, and if you might notice in the background, we've got uh, a few habanero chilies. We'll be making those up into a nice zesty hot sauce for winter. So, yeah, thanks for uh, watching. Comment if you've got one of these meters or if you haven't, if you want one or whatever. They are available. Um, as you can see, yeah, it's been calibrated. Not that you would need to. Oh uh, nine, February fifth of February. Oh nine. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, I've got other meters that I can check it against. It, it seems to be very, very accurate, and I, I like the um, five-digit display. Anyway. I'll be uh, putting up a few more videos soon on different stuff and um, I'm talking a bit about solar power. I'm doing pretty good with the solar. I'm very happy with the results there. So yeah, check back, see what comes on. See ya.